I'm so excited, do 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 do, and I just can't hide it. Welcome back to the Mighty Mansfield Show. Now, I am on my way to get yet another limited edition sandwich or burger, if you if you want to call it that. But even though I said I was so excited, I'm not sure I am. Anyway, let's go and get it and see what we think. Right, so here we are. We're just pulling into a very well-known establishment, and it is Ronald McDonald's house. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up in this drive through and I'm going to time it, because it's not, it's meant to be fast food, isn't it? And it's not always that fast anymore. But I am here, and I'm just looking around now, because usually they... Usually they promote their um, edition burgers and it's not actually promoted in it, so I hope they're doing it. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try the chili double cheeseburger. And it's on for a limited time, I think. Yeah, I can see it now. So, yeah, the new chili double cheeseburger. Oh, we have a go and see what we think. So I'm actually looking at a picture of it now and... Um, it does look quite nice, it looks quite big and it's got gherkins in it and it, I don't know whether it's chilli sauce or, 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 or chilli itself. I think it's just like a chilli sauce but it does look quite nice, it's got gherkins in it and onions and cheese and what have you. So well, I would have cheese in it, chilli double cheeseburger at the end of the day but yeah, we'll see what we think. And I'm just looking now as we're pulling through, they're doing a double Big Mac with bacon uh, a double Big Mac on its own and that's going to be available until the 19th of November I think so we might have to come back and try that as well but I'm going to go for the chilli cheeseburger today because that's what came before oh and they're doing the McCrispy Deluxe as well and that's till the 19th of November so yeah we'll come down and try it anyway now I've got to say I do like the Big Macs but in one of my previous videos, I did what I called a supercharged Big Mac, and I kind of preferred that because it was like one pound in burger meat, whereas I know these are going to be the smaller patties, which aren't as good. Hi, hello, can I take your please? Hi, can I get a chili double cheeseburger, please? Yeah. Can I get that as a meal? Oh, it doesn't come as a meal. Okay, can I get a uh, medium fries with that and... Um, I'll just get a, a small uh, dark, um, Coke Zero, please. Oh, so you want a, a medium Coke Zero or a small Coke Zero? A small Coke Zero, I'll do. Cheers. Small Coke Zero, yeah? Yep, lovely. Thank you. Cheers. Well, so I come to about £5, so it ain't too bad, but something tells me this burger's going to be pretty small then. Um, I don't know why you would do an addition burger and make it small. To be fair, they're actually getting a shift on today, which is quite unusual for this place. Usually you're sat in these drive throughs for ages. But it's a Saturday, so they probably got the old dream team on today. Maybe, I don't know. And as you can tell as I come through there, this isn't available as a meal, which is strange when you do an addition burger, I suppose, because they've got the Big Macs on, or additions of it, it's probably white, I don't know. Well, they're not very quick to take the money, are they? Oh yeah, lovely, thanks. Uh, no card please, thank you. thank you. Lovely, thank you, cheers. Yeah, so this cost me like £5.37. It's not too bad, is it? Well, we ain't had it yet, so. Oh yeah, thank you, cheers. Lovely, thank you very much. Cheers, bye-bye. Right, let's go and see what we think of it. So I've pulled into it, which looks like a disused warehouse. And recently, I used to park in these parking bays that were free, and then they put cameras in there, and, and you got paid for them now. So everybody just just parks in here, um, which is disused anyway. A lot of graffiti, a lot of graffiti around there, but you know. Right, so this burger looks quite big and juicy and nice, so I'm guessing it's going to be really, really good. Well, we'll have a go on this old Coke first. Do you know what? That's actually mixed. 
not too bad at all, which usually for this place. Usually for this place it's it's really weak, but that's all right actually. Right, let's have a look. So I've got medium fries, half of them in the bottom of the bag there, which are actually hot, which is quite rare. Not only that, someone's put some salt on them, and again that's rare. I think they could have filled them up a little bit more though, don't you? Anyway, let's have a look at the start of the show. Buy me. I nearly missed it, so it don't look that big to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I can see why it's um, so cheap. It's basically, it's just basically a, cheese, a double cheeseburger, a very small one, with some chilli sauce in it. I'll show you what we're, what we're having. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What do you think of that? It. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it looks a bit small to me, but I'm sure it tastes pretty good. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've had this before. It don't look that great. <laughs> so have a go. That is stone cold. Absolutely stone cold. I'll give you a better shot of it now, bitten in. You might be able to see it a bit better. Not sure. I'm not sure like that. It's basically just chili, got like chili ketchup. It's absolutely tiny. It's tiny. The sauce ain't that nice. It's just like basically chili ketchup. Um, I don't think I'd recommend it. <laughs> I watched some reviews that actually quite liked it, but oh, I don't know. Yeah, not for me. I don't go much on this at all. And the fact, but, but it's stone cold as well, which which don't help, I guess. But so would I recommend that? Nah, nah, that wouldn't be nice at all. I don't understand how you can serve them stone cold. Not even lukewarm. It's weird. But it's the first time in a long time that they've actually got the chips hot. I think I must have just got lucky. So what would I score that? I never scored this place very high anyway because I don't think it's that good anyway but it should be able to get the burger out hot I mean and it was absolutely tiny <laughs> it really was tiny so if you're coming here and you're hungry I would go for a big back instead um, as for the burger itself yeah I don't know like how can you call that an addition burger basically if you're going to make a chilli burger I'd expect a bit of meat chilli on it not just like chilli ketchup. So rating out of 1 to 10, I'd give it 2 out of 10. Um, it was pretty pretty basic and, and pretty dreadful, really. Um, I just wouldn't bother with it. Um, yeah, that's 2 out of 10. Anyway, that was disappointing. Let's go and do beer of the week. Well, OK, so I'm going to do beer of the week now. And it's quite a run of the meal one. I'm actually doing another cider today. And I'll show you what I've got. So I've got inches medium apple cider now I've never actually had this it's quite a weak one it's 4.5% but you get it everywhere so we'll have a little go on it and see what we think it smells quite sweet to be honest but it says medium local apples grown within 40 miles of our mill wherever that is and it's yet another Hereford cider actually I can see it on the tin so crafted in Hereford now what is it with Hereford? There seems to be a lot of cider coming out of there at the moment. Anyway, cheers. So I went, just went down Ronald McDonald's house, and I've got to say, I've, I weren't impressed. I don't think the burger was that expensive, actually. As I drove back, I noticed a sign on a bus stop saying £1.39, and that burger was on there, but it had, like, it was a range of them, but I don't know. But if it was £1.39, then, you know... I still wouldn't buy it, because <laughs> it really weren't great at all. Very, very lacklustre. Anyway, they are, they are doing edition Big Macs again, so I might go and have a go on one of them. But I'll show you what I've got from a beer snack. Again, it's nothing unusual. Got Mr. Porky Crispy Strips. And I kind of like these, because, you know when you get a pork scratching, which again, I do like, but what I don't like about pork scratchings is you get that that bit of fat on the bottom and sometimes there's more fat than there is rind and it's really salty and 
sometimes it's really crunchy and almost disintegrates in your mouth and then other times it's like really wet and salty and I, I just don't know there's something I don't like about it but these these are like puffed up so you don't get any of that fat on the back of it which I kind of like because you get the taste without all that rubbish yeah I've got to say I much prefer these now I think I scored that chilli double cheeseburger I think I scored it 2 out of 10 and I meant that you know, I just don't understand. I know it's a fast food outlet, but, you know, it's almost like they tried to make it as rubbish as they could. And, well, if that was the case, they succeeded. <laughs> you know, I opened it up. It didn't look anything like it did on the picture. And it was just like, yeah. I, I opened it up. I didn't even want to eat it. It looked that bad. It was just a squashed, tiny lump of nothingness, really. Yeah, I really didn't recommend that. I really, I really wouldn't recommend that. I don't understand when you, you know, how it can be that bad. Anyway, there we go. Such is life. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this because it's actually quite a nice one. I do recommend that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it's helpful to anybody who's thinking of going and getting it. And cheers for watching, and I'll catch up with you in the next episode. Cheers.